During World War II, millions of women began working male-dominated jobs to help with the war effort, and uh, these women became known as Rosies, named after Rosie the Riveter. Seventy years later, our next guest is still on the assembly line and is the oldest working Rosie from Long Beach, California. Please welcome 93-year-old Eleanor Otto. <laughs> You're just fabulous, aren't you? I feel so good. Well, I, I don't understand all this attention, but I'm proud of it. And you don't understand the attention. You, you're amazing. First of all, you look amazing. You're 93 years old. Yeah. Clearly, uh, I mean, there's probably lots of secrets to, to looking so good and feeling so good. But you started working, the story here is you started working there in, in 1942. Mm -hmm. And so you were how old? Tw what, 20? Yeah, about 21, yeah. something like that. So you hadn't worked before. Oh, not like that, no. Uh -huh. Just a little easy, maybe. We're just kids then. And right. Took care of the house. Or, you yeah. Know, so you start working there, and <laughs> do you remember your first day? Everybody asked me that, and you know what? It's a long time ago, and I can't quite remember my first day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, no. I barely remember last week, so that's fine. <laughs> so, and when you started working there, how, how did the men treat the women coming in? How was that? Uh, at first, they didn't like it because they thought we couldn't keep up, mm -hmm. but we got better than them, even, really? because we tried harder, because we had to, we were yeah. women. We had to try harder. Yeah. That's what we did. We surpassed them a lot of things. Really? Yeah, because yeah. We, we, we didn't want to give up, and we had to prove ourselves. They thought they were already proved themselves, right. we, so we had to prove ourselves. Right. Yeah, I mean, I think that's really good sometimes to come from a place that you have to prove yourself. It does make exactly. you work harder. That's right. Do you ever think about retiring? I've thought about it. Uh, we're going to retire pretty soon because I think the plant's get about ready to close down anyway. And then you and I always told him, I says, I, when the plant closes down, I'll retire. That's mm -hmm. what I, and they keep asking me. Right. You know. and, and so what's a typical day for you? What time do you wake up? I get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. I leave the house at 5. What time do you go to sleep if you get up at 4? Sometimes about 11, mm -hmm. 11.30, it all depends. I go to bed at 10. I, <laughs> I, so you go to bed at 11. Yeah. All right. And uh, Get up at 4, and then what? And, and then I, I leave the house at 5, and then uh, I stop and get my coffee and I read the paper before our 6 o'clock meeting. Mm -hmm. And then after our 6 o'clock meeting, we get ready for work, mm -hmm. and then we have to go to the computer, computer and uh, put our jobs on there. We are, they all have a number. Right. Every job we do has a number. Uh-huh. So. And then, but that's, uh, you, you work a, what is that? That's, that's like a, a rivet gun. A rivet gun. So you work the rivet gun? Well, of course. <laughs> You build airplanes. <laughs> it, 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 it looks it's like it's you're working attachments. alone. Does anyone else work there besides you? <laughs> <laughs> so, so oh does that God. is that hard on your your hands? No, that seems like that would I'm be. I'm used to it. Yeah. You know, we put big attachments in thick material like that, uh -huh. and you have sometimes you need a bigger gun than that. Uh huh because the, the pressure won't get it in there, so I have to go get a bigger gun sometimes, you know. Wow. But it's nothing. That's I'm amazing. Used I'm used to it. Now, what are you going to do when you retire? Because you seem like you... you I'll hmm. take care of old, old people. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> if I can find somebody older than me. Yeah. <laughs> that is you. How old were you there? I don't know. I forgot. 24, maybe. Something like that. Amazing. 25. Well, listen, uh, I, just, I just adore you. Your story is amazing. You're amazing. Thank and you. since you get up so early, yeah. I want to make sure you get up and have a, uh, <laughs> a nice... Oh, my darling. darling. How darling. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah. Oh, sweetie. Thank that's you so good. much. All right. And... The irony, uh, Eleanor builds planes and helps build planes, but you don't like to fly. So, we want to send you on a vacation. Our friends at Shutterfly love helping people tell stories through photos. They want to give you a check for $10,000 so you can go wherever you want to go. All right?